Hello, and um, I'm Steve, as you may know. Um, this is LMP Media UK on YouTube. Hey YouTube, uh, as uh, a lot of people say, I can't remember what they say. Something like, ah, sup YouTube, that's the one. Um, well, today, I'm going to be doing something basic with two laptops. Got a netbook, N30, Samsung, and an R505, also a Samsung. Now, today we're going to be upgrading the RAM in this one, and the RAM in this one, and also the hard drive in this one. I'm not going to upgrade the hard drive in this one today, because, obviously, I will have to strip the laptop right down, and at the moment, I have not got the time to do that. So, for this one, we'll start off with upgrading the hard drive. Now, usually there'll be two screws there, which I have undone to save some time. All you need is a small screwdriver, like that one. Yes, that one there. And um, just undo the screws. It's very simple. This step you cannot mess up. It's it's foolproof. Now, here's your hard drive. This is, in my case, a Hitachi 250 gigabyte hard drive. Now you have the hard drive caddy, which is also comes with the laptop, and all you have to do. I'm going to believe it goes like that. Let's slide in. Yeah, that's correct. Just make sure, because you, you know, better safe than sorry. You don't want to be undoing the screws again, because it's annoying. Now you got two screws here, <clears throat> and uh, these here basically to bolt the hard drive, screw the hard drive in. If you want to use a screwdriver, we you have to do, one there, in that corner, and one there in this corner. Now, if you think I'm doing a bodged job because I'm missing two screws, you're actually wrong, because the OEMs do it this way, to save screws, and also because it's not really necessary to have four screws when two do the same job. Now, all you have to do, using this strip, which is attached, Put the hard drive in, like so, slot it in. The hard drive is now installed. It's as simple as that. Now putting the cover back over, all you have to do is slot that on, like so. Grab the screws that were covering it up. Now this isn't a magnetic screwdriver, so it's really annoying. Screw that one up, and you also do the same on the other side. That panel is now secure, the hard drive is installed. Now we're going to install the RAM on this now. Now I've got 3GB of DDR2. Now in big writing there, it says DDR2, which means you can actually mess up. Uh, it's pretty obvious. Now again, I recommend holding the RAM by the edges because you're not touching any of the chips, which means you're less likely to shock it with your static from your body if you haven't earthed, earthed yourself properly. Now, to earth yourself, it's as simple as this. You have a computer down here, that's current plugged in, make sure it's plugged into the mains, touch it, you're fine. As long as you're touching the metal part of the computer, you're earthed. Now, you don't necessarily have to do that, but it is a precaution. You can get earth cables that go around your wrist and they have a clip on the end and they attach themselves to things like radiators. Obviously all the pipe working is at some point going to meet the ground and it's going to have you. Now with this you install this 2 gigabyte stick in this slot here. Push down, it's installed. Now this laptop will now work with just that but we're going to install an extra gig of RAM just for the bang. You know make it a bit more powerful you just install that one there. Push it in, push down. Now you've just upgraded your laptop from whatever you had in there to 3 gig of RAM. Now most laptops will have a panel and they will be labelled memory. Now memory isn't where you store your files, that is your hard drive. Memory is random access memory which the computer uses to store temporary files such as operating system files to enable it to run. The more memory you have in your computer the more windows can store, thus more programs that can run. Now if it runs out of memory, your computer will then default to something on your hard drive, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it partitions the space on your hard drive 
for virtual memory, that's it, that's called virtual memory. <clears throat> that is really, really slow. It may sound good, you can boost your memory up. What? There's no point at all. I'm going to do the same with this let book. Also, panel, also labelled memory. You probably can't see that in the camera, but that's what it says. Again, it says DDR2 only. You can't go wrong with this. Again, it's exactly the same. Grab the piece of memory, slot it in like so. Once that's installed, clip it in, grab the panel, some of these can be quite awkward, close it up like so, screw it in, and there you go, you screwed your laptop up. Not literally. What you have done is installed memory. Now, this is a useful thing to know because obviously a lot of laptops, as they get older, may even be like two years old. You want to upgrade the memory to bring it up to today's standard, and also just to make it perform better, make the um, make programs that wouldn't normally run on it run on it. Now, as you can see. This is working, and I have a version of Linux Ubuntu installed on here because it's great for performance. It works, and that's all I ask of it. It's got a great simple app store, and it's brilliant for my girlfriend. Now I'm going to leave that there. As you've seen, that is working. Now we're going to put the battery back on this one. <clears throat> this is my laptop. Obviously, I'm a bit more of an advanced. That's a bunch of you booting up. I'm a bit more of an advanced person. I like two things. I like a choice between Windows 7 and Ubuntu. Now we're gonna fire my laptop up. I'm pretty sure this is gonna work. And I'm gonna go into Windows 7. <clears throat> now whilst this is loading up, I'm gonna show you the specs so you know that I've installed 3 gigabyte of RAM, obviously it's going to show up to 2.75 because the graphics card on this allocates 256 megabytes of RAM which makes it a quarter of a gig and that's used as video memory to run applications that require graphics for instance you monitor it, displaying, obviously yeah you can work it out, it's pretty simple now I do have a lot of stuff on this laptop um, programs itself has taken up I think about I would say roughly about 60 gigabytes and that's just programs it was filled right to the top to the point where the OS was having problems starting up I had to clean it which didn't like doing really I had to lose a lot of stuff but um no. yeah that was terrible <clears throat> now as you can see it's working it's booted into Windows without a problem now just give it a moment. Like most laptops, they use hard drives that are 5,400 RPM, which aren't particularly fast. So when it comes to loading things, they do take their time. That's that. You right-click computer, go to properties. And this will bring up a um, system menu, that's my Homer Simpson OEM logo, obviously I've done that when I was bored and this is all my details uh, just excuse the light on the screen now it's got a rating of 3.3, this needs to be refreshed for some reason let's see what my computer is actually at Bear in mind it's running slow because it's just booted up and it's still loading programs. Like I said, I do have a lot on here, hence why I had to upgrade it. Now, primary hard disk 5.4. Now, if we go over to my main PC and open this up, obviously you notice it's really fast and responsive. That's 5.7. Let's have a look at the hard drive. The hard drive is 5.7. Now, that may not seem a great difference 
but that's because the hard drive in this primary hard drive is 7200 rpm which means the disk spins faster the data can be accessed faster and obviously I'm using a high tech motherboard, a sapphire tech crossfire motherboard, it's basically a gaming rig but anyway <coughs> this is all for now and um, I've showed you everything you need to know now obviously if you forgot I'm Stephen Anderson and I'm here for LMP Media UK on YouTube um, for other things you can visit our site quickiehosting.co.uk it's mainly based around hosting but there will be some links on there for our YouTube channel partners etc it'll probably be a subdomain like media.quickiehost.co.uk so <coughs> you will find in the links menu below us we will be upgrading it all, updating all the links, keeping you up to date with the latest info, latest tutorials, latest videos, latest la da 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 da. And that's all. Thanks for watching.